Project experience 1. Give some examples of CPQ-specific discovery questions for requirements gathering. Answer. How do you sell your products, i.e. bundles, standalone, etc.? Do you have complex rules about what can and can't be sold together? What is your pricing method, i.e. subscription, one-time, milestone, etc.? What is the process to send a quote to your prospects and customers today? Do you offer contracted pricing or volume pricing to customers? How do you record the commercial terms agreed with a customer? Note, there are many more discovery questions, but these examples show that the candidate understands the nuances around CPQ development and what information is needed. 2. Explain the migration process for CPQ data. Answer. Salesforce CPQ data is relational data which means moving it between orgs is extremely complex. Because Salesforce record IDs change in each org, a separate ID on the records that are being migrated would be helpful to use when referencing related records. An admin could create a custom auto number field on every object that will require migration, but this will be extremely time-consuming and will still result in a complex migration process. The recommended option is to invest in and utilize a third-party tool such as Prodly or Gearset to move this data. 3. Explain how to roll out Salesforce CPQ at a high level. Answer. Salesforce CPQ will require a phase deployment and the process should be planned well in advance. At a high level, the following steps are required. Install CPQ package in production environment for admins only. Migrate fields to production. Migrate relational data to production. Update global package settings. Smoke test with admins and a small group of test users who have been given the required permissions. Add permission set license to all users who require CPQ permissions. Add relevant permission sets to all users who require CPQ permissions. Monitor usage and monitor hypercare channels, email, Slack etc. Thanks for watching Salesforce Tart.